Hey, good day, prayer warriors. God bless you on this Tuesday, May 14th. Thank you again for taking time out of your schedule to be here with us. I got a new t-shirt. Check this one out. I'm an Italian. I speak 20% with words and 80% with hand gestures. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. That's very special. All right, so our Bible reading today is John chapter 5, verse 1 through 24. Look at verse 19, 20, and 21. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, the Son can do nothing of, of himself, but what he sees the Father do. For whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. For the Father loves the Son, has showed him all things, that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these that you may marvel. For as the Father raises the dead and gives life to them, even, the, even so the Son will give life to, do, to life to whom he wills. Amen. It's a great chapter. I hope you're reading. We're reading through the New Testament together. I do the entire Bible through a year. I love just going through this in a year's time. But as a group, we're doing the New Testament together. You can get that under version if you want to connect with that. Just go to version, look for your church, and you'll see our C, CFFC. Amen? All right. Today, we're praying for prisoners. We're praying for South Dakota, 25%, Nebraska, 25%, evangelical Christians. And today we're praying for Bosnia and Herzegovina. I think I said that one right. Anyway, it's right there. And we'll be praying for that. Their population is 3.8 million with uh, only 0.0% evangelical Christian. Let's see what it says here. Please pray for the mobilization of more believers who recognize the value of home-to-home -home outreach. Pray that everyone involved in outreach would be genuine in their faith. We ask for prayer that those who need to hear the gospel would overflow with joy once they find Jesus and tell others about, excuse me, their newfound <coughs> faith. Amen? All right, let's go ahead and pray. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Father, we do bless you and thank you for another day. <coughs> This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be very, very glad in it. I thank you that we could come today together as a team, a prayer team, to effectually pray, to bring down strongholds. We know we can't change everything, but what we can do is slow down the evil that's going on in our world as we get closer to the hapazo, the return of the Lord. That's why we say we are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled. Father, you are outside of time. So you know the end from the beginning. We're still in time. But you, through the Holy Spirit, you reveal things to us. That's why we call ourselves watchers. We're watching in the spirit realm. Lord Jesus, you said, watch and pray that you fall not into temptation or the things that are going on in this world. And today I say thank you. Thank you for the joy of our salvation. Thank you that no matter what happens, I get hit by a Mack truck today, I will be in your presence. For in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Precious Father, today we come to lift up the states before you. And we lift up South Dakota and Nebraska. And we pray for these, Lord. We pray for the 25% evangelical Christian in this almost 3 million people together. Small states, Lord. But we thank you that even one means that you said you'd leave the 100, the 99 to go after that one. And I thank you. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you that you came after me. You nudged at my heart. You said, Tom, today is the day of salvation. And I was smart enough to say yes. We do pray for the lost, the unchurched, the unsaved. We pray for those that are in prison, Lord, that don't know you as Savior yet. And we pray 
that the scales would come off their eyes and their hearts would be open and the glorious light of the gospel would get in there. Father, we know it's not you hindering people from being saved. 2 Corinthians 4, 4 says, And whom the God of this world has blinded their eyes that the glorious light of the gospel cannot get in. Well, today we yank at those those uh, coverings of people's eyes. We yank at them so that the light, even right now as I have my eyes closed, as I pull my hands down, light is creeping in. I thank you for light creeping in for those in New Jersey, those in South and, uh, Dakota and, and Nebraska, those in the United States, those in our political realm, those in our business realm, those in family and churches, arts and entertainment, media, those in our educational system, that young people, old people, all people, we pray for those that are in hospice today, those that are in nursing home, those that are in assistant living, we pray for them. We pray for the, even the elderly in our politics. So many are so old, Lord, and they don't see that they're going to die like everyone else is going to die. It's appointed unto man once to die, and then the judgment. I pray that the scales would come off from president, vice president, to the executive branch, Johnson and Schumer, the legislative branch, Roberts and the judicial branch, Murphy and the governors, Adams and mayors, and all other leaders in our country. <clears throat> and I thank you, thank you for that in Jesus' name. Lord, we do lift up prisoners before you and we pray for them. We pray, Father, oh, they just make it harder and harder for Christian chaplains, ministers to get into these prisons. My, oh, my, what the devil, the devil will do everything he can to get a person not to accept Christ and to go to hell. We pray for people today, Lord. Woe unto you, lawyers, for you yourself have not entered and you hindered those that were going to enter. Lord, we as prayer warriors today, you said if two of us agree on earth is touching anything they ask, it will be done. We are asking, we are praying, we are believing for the lost, the unchurched, and the unsaved in America. But we are also asking in our world, we lift up Bosnia and Herzegovina. We pray for these areas. We pray for the Muslim areas, the Buddhist areas, the Hindu areas. Lord, even through visions and dreams that people would be born again. <coughs> we pray for our world, almighty oh, God. We lift up Ukraine before you. Only 3.6% evangelical Christians. Russia, only 1.9%. Moldova, Moldova, 4.6%. Georgia, 1.3%. Armenia, 9.1%. Morocco, 0.1%. Algeria, 0.09 evangelical Christians. We pray for our world. We pray for these nations today as we pray every day and one month's time over every state and every nation. What are we accomplishing here today? We are accomplishing much. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray for our world, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, I lift up Israel before you as they are celebrating their Independence Day, my Memorial Day. It brought tears to my eyes, Lord, when I watched them blast the sirens and then everybody stops. Everybody stops on the roads and cars. And for two minutes, they bow their heads to remember all the people that died in Israel for their freedom, all the people that died on October 7th. Lord, we pray for the nation of Israel. I pray that the scales would come off their eyes and their hearts would be open. I pray for Jerusalem, Lord. You said specifically in Psalm 122, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who loves you. Pray for its peace. I pray for its peace today, Lord. I pray for the Jewish people. Here the gospel came to them first. They could prevent themselves from going to hell. <clears throat> but so many are caught in the law and their religion, just like so many other religions. We pray for them today. Lord, we lift up different outreaches, Lord. I lift up to you today, Go Decade. 
Good News Production, Gospel for Asia, Powerful Ministry, Gospel E-Coding Network, Greater Europe Mission, Harvest, Heart for Humanity. We lift these up before you. On our list today, we lift up the Jesus Film Project, Sussex Christian School, Dulos Global, Reza Safa, uh, um, Israeli Ministry, Lord. We pray for these ministries around our world. We lift them up before you, Father. Father, we lift up Christian Faith Fellowship Church, every member, attender, and guest, and we pray your blessings, your help upon your people. I thank you, Father, that you love people. <laughs> you just love people. People of our church, people of every church. In fact, you love the whole world. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in, Lord. And we pray for the needs of brothers and sisters. Almighty God, we ask you to touch these lives. Oh, Father, so many. This one here, pray for my mom, for strengthening in her feet and ankles, for energy. This one here, sudden loss of hearing aid. This one here, bad bladder infection. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, we pray. I pray over these cards today in Jesus' name. Lord, as a pastor, I feel for people, Lord. So many people. I pray for my brothers and sisters, those that are suffering in any way today. I pray for healing. I pray, almighty God, that you bore our sicknesses, you carried our diseases, and by your stripes we are healed. I lay my hands right on you right now in Jesus' name. And I just pray, healing in that arm, eyesight right now, be healed in Jesus' name. Pain in the groin area, be healed in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, for feet right now as we just saw that prayer request. If any of these are you, this is by the Spirit of God. Receive it today. Healing in feet. Healing in feet in Jesus' name. Lord, I just thank you right now that you are a wonderful God, a healer. We just wait upon the Holy Spirit. Just a moment. We just thank you. I thank you for this healing prayer today. I thank you. You said the believer would lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. We have laid hands today. I pray for myself. Stretch your hands out towards me. I pray for healing in my entire body, Lord, that I might live long to serve you, <clears throat> that I won't get weary of well-doing, and that I'll continue to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And I thank you. Thank you for this. Now, Lord, as we wrap up, we give you all the praise that's due your name. You are God. There is none like you. Oh, I love you so much. I long to see you. We worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Whew. That was powerful at the end there. Maybe we need to take a little time and wait on the Holy Ghost. Amen. Those that received that healing today, please send in the praise report. Love to hear it. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.